Hey guys, what is going on? Bobbles here. So today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys, but obviously you know it. I'm going to be playing some Fortnite gameplay in the background, so don't worry about that. But what I've got for you today is actually going to be a Q&A. Now this was actually requested by one of my subscribers, so I thought, you know what? Sounds like a good idea. I've gained a lot of subscribers in the time between me doing a kind of talking to the camera video that's not about Fortnite, and it's more about me, so I feel like it's a perfect time for me to actually discuss with you guys about me a bit more and obviously answering the questions that you guys want to know about me. Now before I do jump into it I just want to say I do apologize massively if I pronounce anyone's names wrong. I'm very bad at pronouncing names and yeah that kind of thing so I apologize in advance. But anyway question number one what made you start YouTube? And this was by Chicken Maester. Now, what made me start YouTube? I watched YouTube for years and years and years. I started watching on a little Kindle Fire, and then I got like a laptop and stuff like that. And I've, yeah, I've just always watched it. I've always loved since like Black Ops 2, I believe it was, I started. And I, I always enjoyed watching content from obviously video games. And then I thought, oh, I'd love to do that one day. It looks awesome. And yeah, just over the time, I got gifted from like family, little things that made it more and more possible to do YouTube. So I got like my computer for a start, that obviously is, is definitely what you need. I got monitors, I got the consoles, and then I got myself the actual Elgato. And once I got that, I thought, right, that's it. There's no excuses now. I need to stop letting the nerves get to me and just make YouTube videos because I'd always looked up to all these YouTubers that really made me wanting to start making my own videos. So yeah, I guess you would say other YouTubers, they kind of, they pretty much inspired me massively into doing it myself because I thought, you know what, that looks fun. I want to do that, but obviously with my own little twist to it. So question number two, what is my dog's name? And this is by Creeping Lava. Here he is. This is my little boy. Oh, he, he's wanting to lay down. This is him. He's a little bit sleepy because he just got back from his walk, but his name is actually Twiglet. He looks like a little girl, but he's absolutely beautiful. He's tiny and he's my little boy, so I love him. I'm gonna let him sit down on my lap now and he can sleep. Just uh, wrap him up. See, a lot of times actually when I'm streaming, this is all you see, but Twiglet is actually on my lap as we speak. Oh, he's having a little shuffle. So obviously you can't see him, but um, a lot of the time when I'm making videos, he is sitting right here having a little, uh, a little nap. <laughs> but yeah, moving on, similar to the first question, it's what inspired you to be a YouTuber and will you remember your current followers when you grow up on YouTube? And this is by Athlon. Now, answering the first one, what inspired you to be a YouTuber, I kind of already said that, but I guess what other YouTubers, if I change the question a little bit, what other YouTubers did inspire me? Then there's two main ones and they're actually Allie and Syndicate. Back in the time when I started watching them, I didn't really play Call of Duty myself. Uh, I was quite young, but I I love to watch Ali A obviously doing the live commentaries and then I watch Syndicate to do zombies. And now years and years down the line, Ali A is onto Fortnite and Syndicate's more on vlogs at the moment. And yeah, I still watch them now. And they basically are the two YouTubers I'd say that inspired me to do YouTube. And the second part of the question is actually, will I remember my current followers uh, when I grow? I mean, fingers crossed I do grow. I, I hope so. That's obviously what all YouTubers want to do is grow. And um, if I do, then yeah, of course I will. I remember as much as my brain will allow me to, obviously, if I forget certain names, I forget certain names, but I remember obviously what I can. And I try to, with all of my comments and all of my videos, I always try and reply to you guys' comments. So obviously, if you comment on my videos, if I play with you on some of the live streams that I do, because I normally play with subs on most of my live streams anyway, then yeah, of course I'll remember you because I'll, I'll know sort of thing who I'm talking to, more or less. But like I say, I do obviously reply to all my comments, so if you're leaving comments, I'm bound to remember you. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that answered your question. Moving on to the next one. Will you please join my Discord server? And now this is by the same guy, Athlon. And the answer is yes, I joined your server. And uh, it's pretty cool, but we need obviously more people to join the server. It's down in the description. I'm not only going to leave your server, I'm also going to leave a link to another server. This one's by Tomato Nut. He is a, uh, he's a very loyal subscriber and I play a lot of Fortnite with him and he created actually his own Discord server, similar to Athlon's one. There's a few more people in Tomato's one, so, oh, Twiggy wants to get down. So obviously, all you guys out there that make your own videos or just like my videos, like anyone's videos and you want to share them, you want to talk and you want to have a chat with anyone really, go check out both 
of the discords both join them and have a chat and get your name out there start talking with people and start having a little bit of fun maybe you can play fortnite with the people i don't know but i do love this question because both of these servers are really good and it's a great way to communicate obviously with other people that enjoy the same interests as you and then moving on to the next question this one is a very good question it's by conra us and he said why did you choose fortnite as your main game now this is a very very big question for me personally now a long time ago a couple of years ago i did make youtube videos it was like this it was daily and um, but i had to stop for about a year and obviously that's before obviously i've started again back in november and back then i didn't really know what i wanted to upload i was kind of just uploading a bit of uh, counter strike a bit of h1z a bit of minecraft and i loved it and I'm so glad because that is what gave me my basis on YouTube, on, you know, knowing how to talk to a camera, knowing how to edit, make thumbnails, all that good stuff is because of those videos. But during, like, the break I had, I knew I wanted to get back into creating YouTube videos. I just didn't know what I wanted to make them of. Then Black Ops 4 come out and I thought, perfect the perfect time i'm gonna start making videos again and i did i started making you can see these videos they're all on my channel i started making a couple of black ops 4 videos and i knew in my head i'm really enjoying youtube i love to do it but i, I didn't feel black ops 4 i play every now and then but it's not I, I i've always loved call of duty advanced warfare was my absolute prime time i wish i could have made videos back then but i couldn't but yeah i was good at that game I'm not that good at Call of Duty now because obviously I've lost my touch with it. And I know I'm not saying I'm the best Fortnite player in the world, but Fortnite's the game where I can play it daily and enjoy it. I don't get that with many other games these days. And obviously Battle Royales, they're new, they're up there. Fortnite is a huge game at the moment. So I just thought rather than me making a random video on a game that not that many people are going to watch, I thought I might as well make an audience of Fortnite gamers, sort of people, I don't know, and actually make the videos that those people will enjoy rather than a bit of random video there, a random video there. I can just make a bunch of Fortnite content. Yeah, so I, I hope that kind of answers your question. It's a bit of a long story, but I feel like it needed a bit of a, a bit of a backstory, that question. But yeah, I'm loving Fortnite at the moment. I'm gonna keep uploading it as long as the game goes. Hopefully, it's a long time. But yeah, obviously, if you do want me to play other games, I'm not gonna say no to it. Leave a comment down below of any game you want me to play, and I, I, might, I could just stream it, because I was streaming a little bit of Apex as well. If you'd like to see that, obviously, just leave a comment down below. I'm down to play any games you want on stream, so we can do that. But yeah, great question. Thank you, Comra. Now, moving on to my final question. Do you have any tips for small YouTuber? And this is by Sheltered Wolf 3 Now, I consider myself a small YouTuber. But obviously, I know that there are obviously YouTubers that are smaller than me. Say, like with 100, 200 subscribers. And I know that struggle of kind of growing a little bit. For me, what's made me grow the most is making videos that I know people will want to see. Now, it's easier said than done. Oh yeah, make a new video, make something original that people haven't done before. But if you're a YouTuber for a game like Fortnite, making something that people haven't seen is very near impossible. So the best tip, this is for everyone, but if you do Fortnite, I choose to do things so as it comes out straight away. So one of my popular videos was about the prisoner skin. I made it and I uploaded it faster than a lot of other people uploaded it so that got a lot of views that kind of thing kind of staying on top knowing what's trending that's the best thing for smaller youtubers and a big big thing uh, which has helped me grow loads and actually makes me know a lot of you guys it's actually through networking if you type in on youtube fortnite click on uh, posted in the last hour then you can see all of the smaller youtubers obviously because it's whatever's uploaded in the past hour click on their channel check them out see if they're doing the same thing as you and just leave comments leave nice comments supporting others helps them then support you i don't mean that in a i'll just go and ask people to follow you and things like that go to the channels that you actually find interesting when you find them interesting, comment on those ones and see if they're willing to come and check your channel out. There's no point in commenting on all these big YouTubers, oh please come and follow me and stuff like that, because it's not going to happen. Be realistic, uh, go to the, the target audience that is under the same audience that you're facing sort of thing, and then you can get talking with people. And it's, it's a nice way as well, because then you get to follow someone else as well as them following you on your YouTube journey. That's probably the best tip that I can give you to help you grow. I hope that does help. I hope that helps any that wants to know that question 
But yeah, this, uh, this Q&A has went on a bit longer than I thought it was going to. So I'm going to finish it off there. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Obviously, please leave a like if you have enjoyed it. And subscribe to me for more Fortnite content. Because I post Fortnite content pretty much daily. And uh, it's a hard work, you know. So I do appreciate every single like, every person that subscribes. That one person makes a difference to me. So hopefully you can be that person. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.